Yo, welcome back. This is Jesus with your ancient updates. On piano. Straight up, if you made it this far, you're freaking awesome. Treat yourself to a chimichanga or something sketchy like that. In the previous tutorial, we covered the second group of children self-produced by knights. And right here, right now, we will cover her last five kids, whom she fittingly named Resentment. Say what? Deceit for real? Sexual love? Dum 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 dum. Old age and strive. All right. Resentment is sometimes also translated as indignation or nemesis, and it spiritually darkens life when people act in shameful ways or in a way that gods don't like. Excessiveness, in particular, is disapproved of by the gods, and the spirit of resentment is the punisher. An example would be when someone thinks they're better or more beautiful than a god, kind of like when John Lennon said the Beatles were bigger than God, and they took a lot of negative feedback for that. We see the operating idea of resentment in the beginning of another book by Hesiod titled Works and Days, where he tells us that Zeus easily withers the proud. Now, here's a little story I'd like to tell. Since the nature of deceits is dark, then it too must come from night. Oh. This one was pretty predictable, right? I mean, come on. We saw a little bit of it in Momos, a little bit of it in the Hesperides, and then... Bing! Bang! Wapa! Spirit of full blown deceit is brought to a vida dos, which means life with a little bit of power in it. Deceit is one of the powers given to a goddess named Aphrodite, whom we'll cover in another touch, but it also plays an important role in the origin of the gods because when a god named Prometheus attempted to deceive Zeus, Zeus got mad and created the ultimate deception, which was dun 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 dun. A woman. <gasps> Just kidding. Ooh. It was a woman who was beautiful on the outside, but ugly on the inside. In works and days, we are told her name is Pandora. It's a particular kind of deceit, and one that he see it associates with the birth of sexual love. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Next came old age. Now, old age was thought of to be worse than death in Greek culture, <laughs> but there's also a connection between the spirit of deceit, sexual love, and old age. In the story of the woman who was beautiful on the outside and ugly on the inside, by ugly I mean evil by the way, and if no one protests, we'll change beauty into good down here. Although that's logically problematic for us. For the sake of our explanation, please permit it. We are told that she is the one from which all women descend. And this being the case, all women have good and evil to give to men and torture them with of course. The good husband, however, gets an equal share of good and evil and really has nothing to worry about. But the deceiving, womanizing scumbag who takes joy in excessive sexual love enters old age with a broken heart and a broken spirit and no one to take care of him. But Worst of all, his belongings are distributed among his distant relatives when he gets old and dies. <gasps> oh my. And that's just awful. I mean, come on, really? My second cousins? Now you might stop and say, what the flying flapjacks across the dining room table? Wasn't it the other day we said that Zeus was lending booty like a bail bonds company? He did the nasty with Nemosyne, he slept with your enemy, and the story barely started. Facts 100, hashtag double tweet, hashtag lay it. Throughout the book, Zeus will sleep around with the good intention of populating heaven. Next came Strive, who sometimes goes by Eris and is also known as Discord. Remember when we mentioned that stuff about the long lost poem titled Cypria? Well... In it, we are told that Zeus was at a wedding, dancing to some Tupac. Do, 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 Late night cooling with my homies drinking Hennessy and cold brew. He was gaming up a storm with all the girlies. 
Then strife came into the wedding and she started some commotion and an ar argument ensued about who was the most beautiful of all the goddesses. And this argument got serious between Aphrodite and Athena and a goddess known as Hera. Well, it seems to be that Zeus suggested that a man named Alexander would soon settle their dispute. So Aphrodite and Athena in the company of Hera went to pay a visit to that man named Alexander who was said to be a prince of a city they called Troy and each of the three women tried to woo the Trojan prince. Hera said she'd make him king of anywhere he wanted and Athena she did offer him to never lose the war. Aphrodite then responded by uniting him with Helen a woman who was thought to be most beautiful of all. And this is how the Trojan War then started with the rape of that young queen who was kidnapped by the wiener who refused to give her back. She was wife to Melanos, king of lands called Lacedaemon, who then gathered all his troops and went searching for his wife. He was ready for a fight. And this is how that Aphrodite and that Hera and Athena managed to propel the poor people into war and kill a bunch of them. And it's also how that ugly strife influenced the wars. Da -da 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 it's a little freestyle rap for y'all, dollar dollar bill, y'all. In work Sundays, we are told that strife is a beast which promotes fighting. She is not liked by human beings, ew, but we are forced by Zeus to give her R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Now, here's a twist. In work Sundays, he sees it as like, hee hee, my bad bro, my bad, hee hee hee, my bad. And we are told that strife has an older sister by the same name. Now. All of the children we have named so far were self-produced by night. But this older strife of which I speak right now is the daughter of none other than that womanizing Zeus and night. Say what? He did what? Scandalous. But... Because this older strife is the daughter of Zeus, and everything good comes from Zeus, the elder strife represents good and healthy competition. Basically, she motivates the lazy men to work. Remember, good came before evil here. The good strife is older, the young strife is bad. In the next tutorial, I'll explain a little more of why the youngster is a baddie. So, if you're into bad, 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 girls, come check it out. Peace, and thanks for tuning in. Bounce, go wow wow. <laughs> what a sucker. <laughs>